Luke, there were reports that DJ LeMahieu will be back this week. Just how valuable of an asset is he to this team? Uh, he's our table setter. He's uh, one of the best players in the game. You know, he had a great year last year. And I, you know, guys are super excited to have him back. You know, it was good seeing him around the other day. So um, I'm glad he's back just in the nick of time. And I know he's going to be ready. You know, he's... He's a guy that studies the game and, you know, is always uh, making sure that he's prepared. So I'm excited to have him back, man. The machine is finally back. What impressed you most about him last year, Luke? Um, how, how to get him out. Um, you know, he, he's the only guy I, I really believe in baseball that doesn't get shifted. Um, up in the zone, down the zone, breaking balls, change-ups, any type of pitch, I feel like he can – hit and you know it makes pitchers try to overthink and then they end up making mistakes and it makes you pay and it you know it can be a, a base hit on the ground or a home run I mean the guy's uh, very versatile when it comes to where he hits it and uh, it's it's fun to watch and you said you saw him the other day I did so he's back baby thank you let's take our next next question from Christy Ackert Christy would you please unmute uh, hi Luke um, I'm just wondering how if or if you're excited about the idea of facing pitchers from another team this weekend and finally getting out of intra-squad scrimmages. Yeah, no, for sure. Super excited. Um, it'd be nice to play another team. I think that would kind of get the jitters more going, um, you know, to have them face the same guys over and over. But I think it'll finally make it feel like it's an actual game. And, you know, it's, we only get to play three of them. And um, we got to take advantage of it because, you know, I think it's going to be a little different um, you know, with guys, it's first and second one out. You got to make a you know bigger pitch compared to you know inter squad game. So, um, guys are gonna be more dialed in, throwing more of their <clears throat> you know effective stuff, and you know they got to get ready. So uh, it's gonna be a, a good three games. You know, I wish we had more, but um, you know what do you gotta do? We gotta be ready. We got a week. <laughs> is it? Is there anything you've taken away from facing your own hitters that maybe you, you wouldn't have in a normal spring training, like some feedback or anything? Um, no, it's just. Uh, no, because we still have scouting reports on and you know they have scouting reports on us, and it's pretty similar to you know how other teams pitch us. So nothing, be, nothing crazy, but it's nice you know not having facing a guy you know obviously like I've never faced Michael King, never faced Clark Schmidt, and then you face him the next time, so you kind of have a deal of how they're going to pitch you. Um, but again, I'd rather uh, face other guys instead of our the same guys all the time. So right, and this is this is a shortened you know spring training or whatever. Do you feel like you're where you would be, you know, the final week of a regular spring training? We still got a week left, and these, these, this week I'm going to take it, you know, very serious. And obviously, like, you know, this is the first time that, you know, guys have to take inter-squad serious. You know, in spring training it's more laid back because the games, you know, you obviously slow into those games and ramp up towards the end. So, um, but, you know, I made sure I stayed ready and, uh, in the, you know, I guess during the quarantine uh, part of it. And um, I feel ready. You know, obviously I, I, I want to take these extra, you know, hopefully 15 at bats and dial it in for Thursday. Thank you. Thank you, Christy. Uh, next question goes to Sweeney Murdy. Sweeney, would you please unmute? Hey, uh, Luke, Judge was saying last night how the extra work on the machines last uh, couple days ago really helped him out. Are you finding with without as much time as you normally would to get ready for real games, is that work maybe a little more meaningful or feel a little different to you? That's the stuff you guys don't see behind the scenes is, you know, the machine is the biggest part of my routine before the game. Um, I'm, I'm always hitting uh, uh, breaking balls left-handed, right-handed, curveball sliders, uh, making sure I'm staying on time with the fastballs on the machine. So that's the biggest part. A lot of guys, I would say majority of guys in the clubhouse are like that. And, you know, that's how I stay in shape in the offseason too is hitting off machines. So, you know, you got to see different types of spins and uh, breaks. So it's nice to have that. And, you know, Marcus and PJ do a great job of, you know, always being in there and uh, ready for, you know, what we want. And uh, it's good. It's nice to go outside on the, on the field and use it out there so we can see, you know, how the ball's spinning and stuff. So it's good. How comparable are those machines to, to facing real pitching? I mean, we can make it as similar as we want, especially facing guys that we have over the last couple of years. You know, we know what their breaking balls are going to do. And it's just making sure we're staying through the ball and, you know, not pulling off, you know, our timing's right. And I think that helps a lot for when we get in the box and when we see a slider pop, you know, it's the same thing as in the cage. So um, it, it's a huge thing for my timing. And, you know, I think it is for a lot of our guys to get ready, especially with this shortened season. So it's been a lot of guys doing a lot of extra work in the cages with the machine. Thanks, Luke. You're welcome.
The next question goes to George King. George, would you please unmute? Look, have you seen the Mayhew today? Is he, is he ready to work? No, he's not here today. I saw him uh, yesterday. Thanks. Thank you, George. Any other questions? We have a question from Ronald Blum. Ron, would you please unmute? Hey, Luke, looking ahead to, I guess, one more inter-squad game and then next week with Garrett, how does having him at the front of the rotation change the balance and look of the team from your standpoint as one of the offensive cogs? How does, how does Garrett, you know, having Garrett in our – Team? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, he's a workhorse. He's one of the, you know, I'd say he's one of the best pitchers in baseball, if not the best. Um, it's nice not having to face him. The guy's a stud. Uh, and, uh, you know, I, a lot of guys have, you know, uh, gone to him for a lot of advice because he's, you know, a very intelligent man. And, um, you know, he's been through the works. And um, he knows what it does or what it takes to, you know, to get it done, you know, on the field, off the field, you know, especially with the mentality he has. So he's a special breed, and I'm glad I don't have to face him anymore, and I'm excited to see what he can do, um, you know, in these next 60 games. Does his presence change the mindset of the offensive players on the team at all? Um, that part, you know, is to be determined because, you know, obviously I've never played a regular season with him. Um, but I know he's going to be a presence, you know, in the um, – in the dugout, and I'm definitely he's gonna. I'm hoping, I'm sure he will, is give us advice as a lot of our other pitchers do. So, I guess we'll see.